Learning would allow indoor dining at reduced capacity. A new study, meanwhile, from the Centers for uh, Disease Control is raising questions about a potential link between dining out and getting coronavirus. News Channel 3's Danny Romero has more on what you should know about this new study. For some, grabbing a bite to eat with a friend outside is worth it. I feel safe. Um, I haven't gotten sick and I've been eating out a lot. Restaurants in Riverside County haven't received the green light yet to open indoors. We were cautious. I do the sanitize my hands after I order and uh, I feel okay about it as long as I'm far enough away from people. A new CDC study found those who tested positive for the coronavirus were twice as likely to have recently dined out at a restaurant than those who tested negative. Eisenhower Health Chief Medical Officer weighs in on the results. It's a bit early for us to really draw too many conclusions from that study because there's clearly at least two variables there. Uh, the fact, yes, they were eating out, but also were uh, more exposed to people that were COVID positive. But the study does not distinguish whether participants ate at a restaurant indoors or outdoors. Dining out is a, is a broad category. Does that mean they're eating outside uh, just with their family? Does it mean they're in large groups inside? Uh, so obviously there's a lot of variation that you can imagine there. Dr. Williamson says limiting your exposure dining outside is still important. Just being cognizant of the fact that it is taking a risk and you need to be watching and, and aware of your environment and how, how they seem to be handling things within that particular establishment. Here at Piero's Pizza Vino in Palm Desert, they've done everything to stay afloat. As you can see, they've added a dining deck, umbrellas, and misters to keep customers safe and cool while outdoor dining. But this new CDC study comes as a surprise to this business owner. That can possibly be valid when I am sure that the same people who dine out at restaurants go grocery shopping, go to Walmart, pump gas. How can they narrow it down to one industry? Dini Romero, News Channel 3. Researchers do admit more studies on risk assessment need to be done, especially as workplaces and schools continue more reopening.